dahil nakakuha ako ng isang dahon na nagra oh my god I'm seeing it now okay there's really one root that is you can see we are pruning yeah. definitely kakalat yan kaya siguro Hey guys, welcome back to another Planzilla video. For today's vlog, I have here our Philodendron Marcianum or the pop eye in front of me. And there is a new leaf that is about to come out. That's how it will look like kapag nagkakadahon siya. But we will be talking about a serious thing here today. Kasi nga, two days ago, nung nakita ko na merong isang dahon na okay, okay pa naman yung itsura, but then yung petio niya nagrat. So, there could be something wrong down there and that's what we are going to check today. So, if you are interested, just keep watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell para manotify kayo whenever we upload a new video. And if you are ready, let's begin! Lang when I was really having a hard time thinking about how to move on. Pero ngayon, unti-unti na namang nagiging okay, guys. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Sa lahat ng mga uplifting comments na nababasa namin, mga messages. So, eto muna yung itsura ng garden namin. As of now, guys, before mahanapan ng paraan para hindi na talaga sila mainitan. But at least, guys, most of our plants are covered now and hindi na exposed sa too much sunlight. And those that are not under the net, maybe kaya na naman nila yung init ng araw. So, I'll just show you the exact place here, the exact area once we, it's really okay na and we can finally decide on how to transform this one para mas maging okay and mas maging safe yung plants namin. I still hope that you'll keep on supporting us. As of now, si Gerald still mixing some potting media right there. Kasi naubusan na kami. So, we were filming one video earlier kasi nga limited yung signal. So, whenever there's a signal, I try to upload as much video as I can. Pero I don't think we can make more than two videos kasi naman syempre nalulobat yung phone. We are only relying on our phones whenever we upload videos guys. So ayun, walang signal dito sa amin. So whenever I go out, I really try to find some place na makakuha ng signal. So those plants will be out soon and mahanapan na din ang paraan kung saan sila malalagay. Oh my god, I'm excited about that. So I do hope you feel the same way and you'll watch that video soon hmm as you can see we have our coconut fiber ready and we will now try to uproot this one i've been trying to check earlier meron akong mga white crawling insects na nakikin insects if that's right but they are really small and i'm not sure if you can see it from the camera that i'm holding right now because it's just a phone camera well if it's really clear you'll be able to see those white insects guys I'm just really curious dahil nakakuha ako ng isang dahon na nagra- Oh my God! I'm seeing it now. Okay, there's really one root that is already eaten. Merong problema guys. I think something is attacking our Marshanum. So, it's really best to check it right after you notice something. Kapag may nakita kang mali, it's really best to check it right away para maagapan if there is really a problem so medyo matagal-tagal na din tong marsyanum sa amin guys but yung william na napropagate namin earlier is quite older pero this one let's see if all of the petioles are healthy 
Not sure din ako guys. It's the best way to find out what's really going wrong. Ayan, to clean the entire plant. So, we are now cleaning the roots to see if meron ba talagang problem. Because when he uprooted it, I found out that one of its root inatake talaga. So, what we will be doing today, since wala naman masyadong nakikita ang problem sa mga petioles, hindi pa siguro nakaka-penetrate whatever it is. So, we will be pruning those damaged roots and we will try to treat it para maagapa na yung whatever problem that it may bring soon, guys. So, ayan. So, here it is, guys. Ito yung root na sinasabi ko. Ito, this big one. Makikita nyo na putol yung dulo. So, ayan, guys. I'll just put an arrow so you can see what I'm trying to tell you. Tapos, merong roots na sinusubukang kainin. So, ayan yung aalisin natin. Right. Ayan, pruning damaged roots, guys. Kasi yung kinuha namin kanina, inaatake na. So, pag di pa namin kinuha yun, baka umakyat pa or we aren't sure how severe the damage is. So, ayan, may mga kinakain na roots sa kanya. So, kapag may nakikita kayong ganyan, it would be best to remove it. Kasi, definitely, kakalat yan. Kaya siguro yung isa no na apektuhan talaga. Sayang na sayang yung dahon guys. As in, totally green pa. Pero super rotten na yung petiole niya. Ay, yung petiole kasi ng Marcianum guys. Parang aloe vera. Yung ganong type. May pagka jelly. Jelly ba yun? Parang mukhang jelly sa loob. Kaya ganun. Kawawa na. Pero, I believe na banggit ko siya on one of our recent videos. Na meron ng nangyayaring ganun dito. And, naalis naman yun nung time na yun. So, we're just really trying to find out all of those damaged roots, guys. Para hindi gumrabe. Medyo sensitive pa naman yung Marcianum or yung Popeye. So, he is trying to think about propagating this one. Pero ako, ayoko talaga. Maybe not now pa. Kasi meron nga siyang pinagdadaanan ngayon. So, it's not the best time to cut it. Yung mga napapansin nyo guys, yung mga inaalis naming roots. Yung mga dark ones. Nandun sa kanila nakikita yung mga problem. Kasi yung mga white roots guys, yun yung mga healthy roots. Ayan, yung mga pale yung kulay, sila yung mga healthy roots. Most of the damages are on the darker color na mga roots. Ayan. You can see we are pruning the roots. Too. Ayan, careful, careful lang. Baka matamaan yung petio niya. So, ayun, inalis yung dark one, guys. Part of the reason is yung tag-ulan din. Kapag nabababad sa ulan. Kasi even if you have a nice potting media, kapag patuloy namang basa, tapos halos walang tigil yung ulan, the fungus will like it. Tapos, doon na sila aatake. Kaya siguro, most of our plants are attacked ngayong mga panahong to. Lalo na nung after ng bagyo guys, we really weren't really able to check them as often as before. Kasi nga, nabisi kami sa ibang bagay. So, nasugatan si Gerald. Tapos, we were trying to dry out all of those mga nabasa sa loob ng bahay. We were really having a hard time figuring out how to start from scratch. Hindi namin napagtuunan ng pansin agad yung plants. Kasi, every time I look at the garden, puro problema lang din yung makikita ko kasi meron pang mangga, hindi pa naaayos, sobrang init pa ng lahat. Meron mga plants na naipasok sa loob ng bahay. Kasi nasa loob sila ng bahay, parang confident kami na okay lang sila. But, syempre, nangyayari talaga. After kasi nung bagyo, guys, medyo hindi umula ng mga ilang araw. Pero nung umula naman, sunod-sunod, parang straight, ilang days yon na palaging umuulan. And maybe, ganun din, sa panahon talaga. So, ngayon mga panahong to guys, especially if you are experiencing the same weather na nandito sa amin ngayon, it would be best to check your plants from time to time para if there is a problem that might occur, machi-check nyo kaagad or mamamalayan nyo kaagad. Kasi kapag medyo kampanti kayo and you are not checking them, malaking possibility na merong aatake lalo na ngayon. So, that's really the best tip that I could give to you. Especially in taking care of your plants, guys. Lalo na yung mga philodendrons na medyo sensitive. 
just like this one i really find this sensitive i don't know for other people but for me grabe talaga tapos meron pang mga white dito na tumatakbo takbo i was really trying to film it earlier pero i'm not sure if you can see it clearly dito guys so ayan we will be discarding this one kasi hindi na namin yan gagabitin nakakatakot baka kung anong meron dito sa paning media na to and it might infect other plants as well we used cinnamon powder guys to somewhat what scare those insects that might attack this kasi medyo matagal-tagal na din from the last time nilagyan namin to ng cinnamon powder and if ever meron mang remnants na iiwan yung cinnamon dito hindi na mafeel because of the rain pagkalakas-lakas and pagkasunod-sunod siguro na erase na niya lahat so ayan maglalagay kami ng mga cinnamon powder diyan and we repotted it into a smaller pot para mas maka-focus na naman yung ano sa paglaki niya Ayan, medyo madami-dami yung cinnamon powder na nilagay guys. So, I hope wala nang umatake dito. Kasi kawawa talaga yung mga plants na inaatake ng mga fungus guys. Or kung ano mang bacteria. Kasi, ay nako, mahirap gamutin yung iba guys. The early plants that are hirapan kaming parikaverin guys. So, I'll be able to tackle about that soon pero not now because we are focusing on how to let our plants move on from what had happened this past few weeks or last month kasi nga sobrang gabi so ayan guys medyo madami dami yung cinnamon powder na nilagay dyan meron pa namang dahon na papalabas so I do hope that it's not going to be affected dun sa pruning sa roots na ginawa namin kasi yung iba kasi pag may bagong dahon every time that you do cutting naapektuhan sila and they are not going to survive so you'll just have to wait for another leaf to come out hindi pa naman generous magbigay ng dahon ng pop eye guys but still cross fingers that this um, new leaf will thrive so in guys so that's basically what this video is all about it's all about saving our philodendron marcianum from worse problems that might come so guys thank you so much for making it till the end we're almost done with this video so ganyan lang tapos pupunoyin lang yan ng potting media enough to hold the body kasi medyo malaki na yung marcianum guys and malalaki yung mga petyo niya matataba nga so para ma-hold ng mabuti ng potting media kasi magaan lang yung potting media since we're not using soil siguro dadamihan na lang yun ayan that's pretty much it thank you so much for making it till the end it has been Maria the voice of Planzilla Bohol if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell button beside it para manotify kayo pag may bago kaming video. Thank you so much for watching. So I'll get to see you when we get right into the montage.